Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my corner of the internet once again. My name is Jason. If you have forgotten since the last episode, or you're new here, uh, today we're playing, uh, as if the title didn't give it away, The Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall. Uh, basically, we got a mission from the Order of Arche, the, the Temple of Arche, um, which is basically a temple devoted to the worship and just general service of uh, Arche. Uh, who's apparently some god that I don't know. I don't know what he does. Dude, you sound like some sort of demon monkey. And, uh, that really hurt. Thanks a lot. Thank you, thank you for the, the, the pain, the wounds. Uh, and I don't have any magic. Okay, can I rest? Oh, I can rest. Okay, I'll just sleep right next to the dead body. Anyways, we were given a mission to come into this dungeon to discover where some person was. And then we just leveled up, so that's great. We're off to a great start today. Let's go ahead and, um... Let's go ahead and do this. And by do this, of course, I mean level up. Sorry, I had to readjust my sound because I think I was coming really loud. Uh, I, was, I was clipping. Anyways, let's see. We've got five points that we can go ahead and put into one or more of our stats. Well, basically, you know, five points total that we can put into stuff. Uh, I'm thinking uh, agility or intelligence. I can't remember. Last time I leveled up, I was like, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this, this, this. And I had it all figured out. But now that I'm at the screen again, I'm like, I can't remember. But we're level eight, so that's great. Our spells are going to become even more powerful. Um, let me see. Intelligence, 109. We, we only get, uh, we get, we get two spell points for everything we put in there. So we can get ourselves an extra ten magic. Uh, agility, we're, we have a plus three, and I'm pretty sure getting an extra five will do nothing for us in that department. But it, so basically, it's a, like you kind of, um, you kind of have to decide. Do you want to just boost up one stat, uh, a lot in one shot, or do you want to spread it around a little bit? And I'm not too sure what I want to do exactly. I, I'm, I'm actually debating, um, I think what I'm going to do is because my intelligence, uh, these are my two, my, my two main attributes, are my agility and intelligence. So what I'm thinking is we go ahead and we put three points into intelligence. There we go. Uh, actually, no, let's just put all the points into intelligence. We're gonna get agil agility and intelligence both up to the same point, and then we'll both, we'll bring them up together, um, you know, sort of e e as evenly as possible, that way there. Those are, those are the two main attributes, and once those are maxed out, then we'll look at other, other crap. So I think we're gonna go ahead and settle with that. All the points into intelligence, that gives us a total of 117 spell points. And since we just rested, we did not recover all of our spell points because it, it didn't bother topping us up. Like, basically it brought us up to the 109 we had before, but then, uh, afterwards it just decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, Increase your limit some more, and then not give us the extra magic, so that's, that's a little bit disappointing. But anyways, we came into this dungeon seeking some person who's suspected to, well, more than likely be dead. But in the case that they're not dead, we have to escort them out of this dungeon. And I may have to do that manually because I can't remember if I, um... Casted uh, Tropolet, which is just teleport, uh, back at the dungeon entrance. And if I did not, then basically we're just gonna walk out. And that 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 won't take that long, anyways. And actually, it'll be instantaneous for you guys because I'll probably just go ahead and cut cut it out. Um, now, speaking of cutting out, I'm realizing that uh, I'm doing a lot of sort of filler quests. So what I'm thinking about doing in the future is uh, if I get quests uh, that maybe do not. Uh, maybe don't uh, have a big impact or it's a, it's a format that you guys have already seen, I'll just sort of give you guys a quick summary really quick. I'll do some, you know, quick cuts to, we'll say, points of interest that occurred during the quest, but then ultimately just, uh, you know, cut most of it out. That way there, you guys aren't seeing repeats of that. Now, that, that'll allow me to sort of grind out a little bit, um, you know, off screen uh, so, so that you get, like, like I said, you can just focus on sort of the main story stuff. Uh, like I said, I'll only be cutting out stuff that you guys have already, already seen. So, you know, actually it looks like uh, we are pretty much done down here. Yep. So we want to head, what, north? North. Come on. Come on, map system. Work with me here. North, then turn left and then go north again. So we'll go up this way. Yeah, we're trying to get out of here. Man, my running skill is getting better. Like, man, Alexis can really move through here. Oh, uh, I think I heard a rat. Where are you, rat? I will slay thee, rat. But yeah, I was thinking about, uh, like I said, just going ahead and 
uh, cutting out those kind of, kinds of... Actually, we haven't gone this way, so we'll go north from here. Uh, cutting cutting out those that, that kind of con uh, that uh, type of we'll say footage and stuff because it really doesn't uh, serve uh, any more purpose uh, for you guys. But you know what, you guys you guys let me know. Do you just like do you like seeing it anyways? Do you want me to basically still show these little side quests uh, or is that all right with you? Is that all right that I just focus on? All right, you guys have already seen this. You got you got a decent idea of what it is, and then maybe just give you like a couple highlights to kind of. Um, tell you what happened on that quest before we d dive into something maybe you haven't done. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm looking for some input there because, uh, to, well, to me, I, everything's interesting. If I'm watching, if I'm watching a Let's Play, I usually like seeing as much as possible because I feel like it gives me a better picture of what the game is. Uh, that's actually part of the reason why I even got into watching and slash making Let's Plays was because uh, I I didn't know if I liked certain games, so I'd look up I'd look up a Let's Play of them and I'd watch how the game played. But when there was a lot of cuts, you know, oh this got cut out, this cut out, I felt like I wasn't getting a good representation. I wasn't getting a good picture of what the game actually offered. Uh, so. You know, to me, my, my we'll say philosophy for we'll say let's let's playing has always been sort of show off as much of the game as possible. And if there are slow parts, uh, you know, things that are maybe not as interesting, try to make them as interesting as I possibly can, uh, without you know cutting out parts of the game. That way, there people can still see it and they can understand that maybe the game does have some faults. Maybe the game does have some slow parts that m might not be for them. Because basically, if you see a game and all you see are the exciting parts all the time, then, you know, you're going to have a more favorable view of that game. And let's say you're debating purchasing a game, then you're going to think much better of the game. Then you're going to get it. And then all of a sudden, everything's slow and boring and it's totally not to your taste. So, that, like I said, that's why I try to include as much um, as possible. I, 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 the only time I like cutting stuff out is if you guys have already seen something like that. That way there. Uh, like, I always try to do at least, we'll say, whatever the boring thing is, I try to at least do it once uh, on, on camera uh, before, um, before cutting it out. So, that's, that's, we'll say that's my philosophy on, uh, on things. Uh, but I don't know what you guys, uh, c well, actually, you know what? That, that part there, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cut out more than I already am. As it is, I feel like I have a good balance, and that's kind of, we'll say, what I wanted to do with the channel, was to really sort of showcase games as they should be, and then, you know, just remove re redundant inf information. Um, you know, for more of, we'll say, en entertainment pur purposes. Because I notice a lot of my Let's Plays, they start off really informative, and, you know, while I am curious, and the information does tend to get sprinkled around throughout the game as I learn more stuff, uh, I find a lot of that stuff is front-loaded. And then, as I get further on into the Let's Play, um, it becomes more about me actually playing the game rather than, uh, we'll say, me conveying some sort of information uh, to you guys. But like I said, everyone comes to my channel for different reasons, and my, my, you know, my intent to sort of showcase games in, we'll say, a, um, an accurate light, you know, that might not even be what people are coming to the channel for, but they might find something else of mine that they, uh, you know, in my videos that they find interesting. It's just like games, you know, different, well, people, uh, play different games for different reasons. Uh, we've, uh, actually I've talked about this before, I can't remember, I think it was, I talked about it maybe in my Elder Scrolls series, somewhere, Daggerfall or Arena, um, that, you know, uh, some people play games for story, some people play games for, you know, uh, the, the action, some people just like the, the sense of seeing, like, like, if they're playing an RPG, they like seeing those little numbers going up, that's just something that really interests them. Uh, to me, it's just that sense of exploration, I like exploring everything, including the game mechanics, I like to sort of, We'll say peek under the hood and try to figure things out, as well as uh, just seeing what kind of neat things are in the game world. Like I, I, I used to play Myst. It's an old puzzle game. If you know what it, I'm talking about, actually, it's got a cool beat to it. Sorry. All right. Um, oh, what's this? What is this? What is this? Is that? A, that is that is a really big finger. I think that's. Is that a severed finger? Actually, I really like this. I, I, I think I could make a remix out of this. Oh, now it faded out. Okay. Anyways, you pick up a scrap of flesh carefully, even ritually, ri ri even ritually, r ritualistically stripped from a man in a blue coat's hand. This was once a finger of N Nuchen. Does that count as my evidence? I found a finger, and I I found a finger, and I was able to determine that hey, 
that there belonged to Newton. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I, I just, I, just I, I don't know why I found that so comical. I'm like, it, it, it's the way, like the, the beat to it and everything. I'm like, it, that was, it almost seemed intentional. But was that my evidence? Let me take a look at my log. Um, let me see, the, the life of Blaska, no, I don't care. Blaska, nope, I uh, received a letter from, uh, tell me to go to the first, and see what happened to the priest, Nutrium. I am to either find the man in a blue coat or evidence of his death. I think I found, um, yeah, I think I found evidence of his death. So I guess I'm getting out now. Was that it? I, I went down there to find a finger. Somehow I knew, I, I, I somehow, I, somehow, I was like, this, this finger, this belongs to a man in a blue coat. How did I know that? It's a finger! Like, really? Like, I understand game, gameplay-wise, they went ahead and they just decided, oh, more monsters, really? Where are you? Basically, you know, gameplay-wise, they're like, uh, yeah, you know, they, they, they put the image there, the sprite there, to represent what we found, and it's not necessarily uh, everything that we found, uh, but at the same time, it's just kind of like, oh, really? Like, why would you put a finger there? From a game design perspective, I would have at least put something that was uh, immediately identifiable as maybe the remains of Nuchin. You know, maybe, you know, they, they've gotten pretty graphic. I would have done, like, you know, a half-eaten torso or something. Oh, there's scraps of, there's scraps of the blue coat underneath or something like that. They could have easily pulled that off with this graphical style, but no. No, 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 no. We're gonna, we're gonna put a giant severed finger that is the size of someone's thigh. Like, really? What the heck were they thinking? That just, that makes no sense. It's stupid. It's stupid. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I'm coming down hard on them, but really, that, I, I just can't get over that. Oh, well, I can get over it. I'm already over it. We're over it and we're moving on. I'm moving on with my life. All right. <laughs> Let's go through this uh, door here. We're, yeah, we're just going to get out. Uh, enough sneaking. We're, we don't need to sneak anymore. I'll see you guys at the end. Actually, wait. Let me see. Rest. Let me get a little bit of magic and let's see if my teleport spell works. We'll save just in case I teleport myself back to the Dragon Tail Mountains. <laughs> Alright, backspace. And then let's go ahead and use Tropolet. Let's go ahead and teleport. I didn't set I did not set an anchor, but it still cast my magic. Ah, uh, we're loading the game. We are loading the game. So basically, even if you don't have an anchor set, you have to it basically it uses up your magic. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the entrance. All right, and we're back at the entrance, so let's get out of here. Actually, but first, let's go ahead and access the wagon. I just want to drop off some crap. Uh, basically, mostly just uh, actually, what did I? Uh, there, yeah, there it is. There, there it is. Let me see. Finger condition broken. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Let's go ahead and just uh, dump uh, this stuff into my my wagon here. Just because I don't feel like carrying it all, it'll lighten me up a little bit, and because I'm likely to go ahead and forget to sell my stuff, at least it'll be in my wagon. So, um, actually, I don't even know where we're going. Uh, let me see. Uh, the centrus, the centrus, the centrus, blah, 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 blah. Fortress of Fojum. Uh, find the man, and uh, from Sarch. Who's Sarch? Where is Sarch? Is Sarch at the, um, oh, Sarch of Burning Star. I was gonna say, is he the, uh, Burning Star? Yeah. So, we're gonna go ahead and take off to the Burning Star. Uh, is it the Burning Star or is it just Burning Star? Let's try. Burning... Yeah, it's just Burning Star. So, yes, we want to travel to the Burning Star of RK. Uh, let's go ahead and do so recklessly. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Take us two days to get there. Uh, our running skill has improved. Yeah, and our stamina, actually our stamina is low. Oh, that's right, because I didn't travel cautiously, my stuff didn't f uh, fill up. Alright, so let's go ahead and, man, she's fast now. Let's go ahead on in here and talk to Buddy and just see if, uh, what he's got to say. Congratulations, Alexis. For all your efforts toward the greater glory of RK, we have raised you to the rank of Initiate. With the change in title, you are also gaining access to our cauldron, where our chemists devise potions for our temple. You need no longer travel to the Mages Guild in order to purchase necessary potions. Awesome! That's great, because the Mages Guild doesn't like me! So, uh, am I done my quest? Well done, Initiate. I tremble to think what Blaska 
might have done to our temple had she spread her profane word. Our K bless you and keep you, goodly Dark Elf, here, a small token of the esteem of your brethren. Um, it's Amber. Yay, a hundred gold. I'll, I guess I'll take it. Sure. Thank you. Okay, so I guess we finished the quest. Uh, has it been, yeah, it looks like it's been completely removed from our, um, yeah, it looks like it's been completely removed from our, our quest log. So we're done the quest. I don't even know what we did to necessarily prove anything, but okay, I guess we proved that Blaska's evil? I don't know. We, we proved something. But anyways, um, I want to go ahead and I want to see the um, potion crafting. Wait, it's not here. It's over this way, isn't it? Let's go over here and talk to... Wait, this is the little guy who sells us potions. Let me see. Buy potions. You are healed. Amazing! Alright, information heal. A potion of heal true. There's, these are expensive potions, though. hundred. Oh, wait. These aren't that, that expensive. I was just really rich in arena. Potion of invisibility, water walking. Oh my goodness, it's it's like Christmas in here. Uh, wait, how many of these can I buy though? Like for example, uh, tr a heal true. What if I select it? What's the top one? So they only had one healing potion. Ah, oh, darn it. It's not like arena where there's like infinite potions that you can just keep buying. No, it's, uh, it's... It's more like, 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 well, Morrowind. Well, actually, I guess Morrowind's more like this, but you know what I'm getting at. Oh, I'm taking that. Of, uh, uh, Cure Disease, I'll take two. Yes. Yes, I'll take two of those. Uh, Resist Poison. Uh, Water Breathing, Slow Fall. Slow Falling might actually be good. Let's grab that, too. <laughs> we're just, we're going shopping today. Uh, Purification, I don't know what that does. Potion of Stamina, no, we're good. Healing. Sure, I'll grab another Healing Potion. That's all you've got. Uh, all right, I'll buy it. I've got the money. Uh, and there, the, let's see, the Order of Arcade prides itself on having the lowest prices in Burning Star of Arcade. No kidding, you're like, what, one building? Uh, <laughs> well, sorry, the only building that actually sells stuff. Uh, though you have bargained with me until the sun is low in the sky, I can sell it for no less than th five thirty-one gold pieces. Uh, actually, it bothers me that I just said that. I don't know, is there a shop in Burning, Ar uh, Burning Star? Or even a tavern, they could sell stuff. Uh, whatever, it's not important. Uh, so anyways, I got that, but I want to see the um, the crafting. I want to be able to craft potions. I, I swear, where was the guy? Is this, are you the crafting potion guy? Make potions. So this here is our, uh, evidently our, our cauldron. We're going to save this as wear puncher because why not? And we'll talk to him. I want to make potions. My services are reserved for a special few. You are not among them. Uh, well, but I was just told that I could make po Okay, can I just buy potions? Is that what it is? What, what do you do? You do training. You, you just sit there and, like, cure diseases. That's cool. That's cool. What do you do? You take donations. All right. You're the guard guy. Uh, you do dangerous summoning. I can't do that, I'm guessing. No, I'm not a high enough rank, and you just sell potions. Okay, so I, it looks like we can only buy potions now. But that that's all right, I guess, um... I, I was really kind of hoping that Buddy here would have something to help with, um, let's say paralysis. Let's see, cure disease. Wait, these are new potions. Resist shock. So every time you open up his inventory, or open up the, the buying menu for him, it looks like it gives you a different, uh, yeah, it looks like it gives you a different, um, a different selection of spells. Restore power. I'm pretty sure that just brings back, oh, that brings up your, uh, spell points, actually. Yeah, let, let, let's go ahead and select that. I hate that I gotta keep going up to info. I hate that. Like, I, I, Arena was so much simpler. Just right click. Oh, or actually, no, it just had the name of the item. You just clicked on what you wanted. Oh, man, this is so infuriating. Sorry, guys. I just. That, that just really bothers me. That is such a poor design. Oh, anyways. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, yeah, Morrowind does the same thing. At least you, when you mouse over it, I yeah, it tells you what it is. But yeah, actually, now that I think about it, Arena's probably got the best system out of the first three games. Huh. Anyways, uh, I'll just go ahead and grab one more potion, and then we are going to decide what we're going to do next. Uh, le levitation. Actually, you know what? Let's select that just in case I want to be able to float around somewhere. You know, if I get stuck down in a hole, I can always just pop my levitation potion and get out of there. That's probably not a bad idea. Cure poison. 
uh, invisibility. I can cast invisibility myself. I don't really need uh, that. All right, so you know what? Uh, we'll go ahead and I do have some potions queued up to buy. All right, we're good. We are good. So now that we've gotten to the proper rank to be able to get potions, uh, we'll save here one more time. Now I need to decide what I'm going to do. Am I going to go ahead and... Hmm. Give me a second to think here. All right, I think this is what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna take a break from the uh, the temple for just a bit, and we're gonna have to eventually go back and do some more uh, to maintain our rank because uh, over time your reputation does uh, you know degrade. Uh, but uh, for the time being, we're gonna follow up on this. If you are interested in learning the truth about Prince Merton, meet me at the Dead Gnome in Cirrus of Sentinel. All right, so we're gonna be heading to. Well, actually, we're already in Sentinel, so it's perfect. We're gonna go to find Cirrus and go to the Dead Gnome. So Cirrus. Uh, and, um, actually, where is Cirrus? C- wait, is it R-H? Hopefully I can find out with those first three. Yeah, there we go. Uh, do you wish to travel to Cirrus? Yes, we'll do so cautiously. Uh, we don't need to stop at inns. Just cautiously, that way there are- all of our stats are filled up by the, um, time we get here. We're gonna go ahead and save the game. Actually, uh, I'd say we completed the mission, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, just because this one's called mission and I just said the word mission, we're gonna go ahead and, and save it as mission. Alright, so now I'm looking for the, was it the dead gnome? Uh, was it the dead gnome? Wait, I'm in the wrong place. It's not in my log, it's uh, right here. Uh, let's see, the dead gnome. Yep, I'm looking for the dead gnome. All right, how big is, of a town this is this? It's actually pretty small. Uh, so let's see. I'm coming in from the west. We're gonna hit uh, maybe this tavern here. This, this, th uh, and then those two. All right, I'll go ahead and find the dead gnome, and I will be back. All right, that was easy. The dead gnome. It was the first place uh, I, I came across. So we're gonna go into grab mode, and we're gonna enter the dead gnome. We'll save the game as Wear Puncher because that seems to be our working save for the day. Uh, this is a closet. Why do I always walk into the closet first? Wait, is this a closet that leads into a closet that leads into a closet? Where am I supposed to go? Jason, you could just go straight. Oh, and then turn. No, that's where I came from. Go this way. There we go. Okay. Man, I get so lost so easily here. All right, so I, it was unsigned, so I don't know who I'm asking about this thing. Is it you? What's your name? Bergton. Hello, Bergton. Can you tell me about Merton? I'm gonna do so very politely. Pardon me, Merton. Merton... What? Pardon me. Merton like books more than swords. It used to drive King Cameron crazy. That's all I know. Okay, I... Well, he's a kid. I'll excuse his very poor English. Um... Uh, what about you? Yes? Well, can you tell me about Merton? Uh, why would I want to help you? I don't know. I don't- I really don't know. I- I could give up? I don't know! Why would you want to help me? Nobody wants to help me! Everyone hates me! Do you hate me? Do you hate me? Huh? Do you? Well met, stranger. Well, you sound friendly. Let's see if that carries over to- Uh, oh, I could probably help you with that, but I'm not going to- Of course not! Alright! I'll be back as soon as I find whoever the- Holding tongue. All right, I guess I guess I found I I walked up the stairs and I found this this lady and I talked to her and she goes, "Alexis, shh. I would prefer that nobody sees me talking with you. It has come to our attention that the underking is being wrongly accused of abducting Prince Merton. Before you judge, check into the fortress of Fojum. I'll mark it on your map. Who am I? Just call me a loyal servant. Now move away before anyone gets suspicious. Go on, scram. The fortress of Fojum. Why does this place keep coming up? Okay. I need to go to the Fortress of Fojum to find information about hit hit wall. Darn it! All right, now that I've composed myself, we're gonna go ahead back down the stairs and get out of this tavern and head to the Fortress of Fojum because once again we're stuck going into a dungeon. Man, it's uh, like I uh, I feel like that's all there is in this game. You know, I'm starting to. I'm starting to really change my mind about my my uh, criticisms of like um, what was it Skyrim? Yeah, because I was like everything leads you to a dungeon, and I criticized them that. But you know what? I'm starting to really realize as I'm playing through this. <sighs> Morrowind was kind of an outlier. It was the, I feel like the best of the series, but it was actually quite different than its predecessors. It, like it was it's very there's a very it's very similar but very different and 
Also, ah, all right. Let's let's go ahead and try to find the um. Crap! Was it the dun the the temple of Fojum? The temple of oh, I don't know. I've already forgotten the name. Let me take a look at my map. Uh oh, of co of course it's not even here. It's not even here. I can't remember what it was called, and it's not written down for me. Uh, lady, t will you tell me again? Oh, I'm gonna have to look back at the video, aren't I? I'm gonna have to look back on my video to figure out what the heck she said because my freaking short-term memory is just so cr All right, well, I eventually remembered the Fortress of Fojum. So we're gonna travel to the Fortress of Fojum again. Man. You pass a low stone wall and you over Oh yeah, this place again. Yay. Actually, you know what this guys, this is probably a, a an ideal time for me to go ahead and ask that uh actually, let me see. Is my map? No, I got to rediscover everything. It did not save any of the the progress I made the first time here. Wait, the Foja Please tell me that's not where we were just at. Was that where we were just cuz this looks really familiar. Is this where we were just at? I'm done. We're ending here. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm, maybe, maybe it's just my mindset. I'm just not in the mood for this crap right now. So I'm gonna stop here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna stop right here. I, I, I'm gonna take a break. I need to walk away and collect myself. Um, but you know, I, it's a decent, uh, should be a decent enough sized uh, episode. Uh, you know, this is perfect. This is this is a place you've already seen. It's a perfect time for me to ask the question. Do you guys want me to just skip over most of this because you've actually seen the layout of this dungeon before? Let me know. So either way, l if you like the content, <laughs> go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and leave a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And uh, until next time, I'd like to ask you all to game on.